think I'm doing about 85 miles an hour right now. The speedometer says 90. My guess is that's about 85. So this KLR, it's pretty modded out and it'll cruise at 85, no problem. But I'm at about 6,000 RPM, which is a little high, but yeah, that's all right. I'd say a good cruising speed for this bike is about 5,000 RPM, which on this bike is probably 75, 76 miles an hour. I don't know, maybe, maybe a little faster. So this right here is about 5,500 RPM. I'm doing about 80. That feels good. It doesn't feel like the bike's working too hard. Doing pretty good. And I'm going uphill right now. Uh, not too steep, but it's definitely up a hill. And I got this KLR set up with the uh, stock rear sprocket and a 16 tooth on the front. This guy's all over the road. And I can pass cars at, you know, 90 miles an hour, no problem. 90, 90's about as fast as this bike likes to go. And that would be an indicated 95 is when I figure I'm doing 90. So right now I think I'm doing probably around 80 to 86 miles an hour. Well, like I said, I'm not sure. I could be going faster than that. I'm just guessing that the speedometer, it, saying I'm doing 90 right now, this feels like about 85. And I'm less than 6,000 RPM at, at uh, an indicated 90 mile an hour. And kind of high RPMs, higher than I'd like, but I think the bike could do this for well, probably all day, I don't know. But I will say I'm, I'm pretty hard on my bike. You know, I, I have to do a lot of maintenance on it. I break a lot of stuff. So just be aware of that. I push it up to 7,000 RPM sometimes. I do keep it out of the red though. So I'm cruising at 80 mile an hour right now. And I'm at uh, 5,500 RPM. This is a comfortable cruising speed for me. So about 80. So running at these higher speeds, I do run a steering damper. I have a Eagle Mike fork brace. I have a cogent Dynamics front suspension. And I'm running a Supermoto Fender. And right there, about 85 miles an hour, right there, I get a little bit of head shake. Just a little bit. And that's with all the stuff I'm running. When this bike was stock, it got pretty bad around 70, 75 miles an hour. I, I would get a lot of movement in the front end. And I tracked it down to the stock front fender. Uh, the front fender is what I think a lot of the, the vibrations and shaking at the high speeds was coming from. And the way I determined that was with the GoPro. I mounted a GoPro on the front of my windshield and noticed when I was driving real fast that that front fender was flopping all over the place. I can't really see my fender now. I'm running a supermoto fender and a high windshield, so I can't really see it without standing up. And I'm not going to stand up at 85 miles an hour. Doesn't sound very pleasant. But yeah, so I mean, the KLR will cruise at 85, no problem. But I'm getting close to that 6,000 RPM mark, which might be uncomfortable for some people.
So yeah, we were talking on the uh, Facebook forum, or Facebook group, KLR Delusionals, you can see the sticker right there, about cruising speeds, and you can see right now I'm doing 85 miles an hour is what would be my guess. Uh, indicated 90, which I'm thinking is 85, and I'm not too comfortable there. 80 miles an hour feels pretty good. I, I don't think the uh, steering damper right down there, I don't think that's very necessary for most people. I like that for when I ride in rocks, big rocks and baby heads. It's pretty handy. Other than that, I, I don't think it's very useful. So here's 75 miles an hour and indicated 80. Again, like I said, I'm not sure about these speeds. But it is indicating 80 miles an hour, and my guess would be this is 75. This feels really good. This is less than 5,500 RPM. Um, the bike's not really trying that hard. And it feels real planted and stable. I'll uh, go over some of the... Uh, suspension mods that I have, yeah, if I find somewhere to pull over or something. So some of the mods that I think help with the uh, higher speed riding, it's definitely the fork brace. You can see here I have the Eagle Mike fork brace. It stiffens up the forks due to the uh, how skinny they are compared to say like a motocross fork. I'm running a Supermoto fender which I think is probably one of the single biggest improvements you can make to the uh, KLR for high speed travel. The stock fender flops around quite a bit in the wind and this one's pretty stable and stiff. I'm also running the uh, Cogent front suspension. And that I mean, that's a game changer for the KLR. I think, uh, while it's not necessary to run cogent suspension, if you ever get it and run it, you will probably not regret it. Um, I definitely like having a higher windshield. You can see here, I've got the KLR windshield riser. I can't remember who makes it. I think it's called KLR Dash. And this is the uh, zero gravity windshield. And that setup right there keeps most of the wind off me. I'm running a steering damper. This is a Scott steering damper. I've never seen anyone run one of these on a KLR before. Um, I couldn't find a sub mount kit available for it, so I had to fabricate it myself. And I actually just, uh, it was pretty easy. I took the top triple clamp off and I machined it to accept that, uh, the mounting bracket. And then you can see I just welded the post to the frame. And, uh, definitely wouldn't work without the rocks risers and the, uh, the location of the bar being moved forward, which you can see right there, the mounting bracket. It uh, bolts to the stock triple clamps, and you have to machine the triple clamp for that to fit, so it's actually quite a bit of work. And uh, you can see here, this is part of the cogent suspension. These are the uh, preload adjusters. Um, they're kind of handy, but definitely not, not really that necessary on this bike. You can adjust the preload with the uh, spacers inside. They're made out of Schedule 80 PVC pipe, I believe, so it's pretty cheap. That's pretty much everything that I think you need to, you know, cruise at a higher speed, more comfortable on this bike. I'm sure you could probably get more speed out of it if you needed to, but for me, 80 miles an hour is where I'm comfortable. Give you guys a little view of the 
area I'm riding. Not a whole lot here. A couple billboards. It's really an awesome day.